hello welcome to another easy tutorial my name is olivia and in today's video we are going to be making these simple sleeves so let's get started so we are going to use crinoline for this project and you should know the length of the sleeve you want or how long you want your sleeve to be okay so just determine that and then so for the sleeve to be strong we need to double the length so whatever length you want you need to double that length so for instance this is how i want the length to be and i'll be folding it this way right so this is the full length and i have to double it like this to be able to make it strong so this is how you are supposed to make yours so you have something like this so i'll be making mine very long because mostly when you do this long you are able to manipulate the sleeve into different styles of your choice and of course what style you are going for so the style you are going for depends on what you do all right i've also doubled the length and i believe you can triple it to make it more stronger so you can also shape the edge of the crinoline if you want it this way just mark it and then you cut it out so when i take it to the machine i'm going to stitch the edge and then the two sides just to keep the crinoline in place i made a strap to knitten the edge of the crinoline so as to prevent it from fraying So this is how it looks now. So now we need to cut our fabric. And I forgot to mention this and I'm so sorry. I used a width of 2 inches. That's the crinoline. So for you to know the length of fabric to cut, you add half an inch to whatever length of crinoline you are using all right so mine is two inches so my sleeve is now two and half on fold so i'll go ahead and cut out the same shape or the same edge with a crinoline so basically the half an inch will serve as sewing allowance so I'll go ahead and stitch them together, leaving one side open. And after stitching, I'll turn it inside out. And then I'll give it a good press. Yeah, so we need to insert the crinoline into the sleeve. I'll fold it this way. This will help you insert the crinoline easily. So in this session, I'll manipulate the sleeve now and then do it the way I want, that's all. So you can place it anywhere and anyhow you want. And of course, I said it in the beginning, depending on the exact style you are going for, so <laughs> i'm just trying to put it anywhere that i feel it will fit on the mannequin so you can definitely make them longer if you want you can make them longer it can be here and then it can be anywhere you want 
so yeah i hope this short video was helpful and if it was please click on the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't turn on your post notification bell so anytime i upload a new video you'll be notified and i'll see you in my next one